Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now this morning I've been sitting out in the woods, sitting up in a tree, doing some white-tailed deer hunting. Now I've got with me my crossbow as well as my Therm Knight. Now if you watch the other content that I just made, you'll notice that I don't have the Therm Knight mounted up on the crossbow just yet for this season. Uh, but I have been using that unit as a handheld device and this morning it worked out really well. As the light was just coming up and it was shooting hours, but I'm in kind of a dense, uh, a dead swamp area here doing some deer hunting. Uh, it's hard to pick up the animals as they're coming in. The deer are blending real well, and this stuff is some thick cover here. Uh, but anyway, hey, so I was using the Therm Knight to help me spot, you know, if anything was coming, and it worked out really well. I was able to see a doe coming in. I was checking her out for a little while here. I've got some content. You can check this out. And as I was watching her, just her for a little while there, I noticed another little glow in the background. I thought I had another doe coming up. And as you look, you'll notice with this Therm Knight, you can't really see the antlers in thermals. So that was something for me to learn when the deer are, you know, 50, 50 yards away or so, 55. But anyway, so this deer, uh, they kind of worked their way around and the deer ended up, uh, the doe ended up winding me. She took off and the buck just trotted along. So I put the Therm Knight down, blew my grunt a few times, and spoiler alert, he came back around and I dropped him. So the Therm Knight was then used full for, you guessed it, I used this thing to help me find the deer, locate him when he's down. Now I watched the deer run around me, go 40, 50 yards, and kind of pile up back again in that heavy, down swamp area, I scanned the area with Therm Knight and there he was, I knew exactly where the deer was. Had this been a big uh, field, tall grass or something, this thing would have been really invaluable. Dropped the deer, so let's take a look at what I ended up getting. Now as I got to pulling him out, came across this right here. Now this is one of the active trees that he's been working on and I'm sitting all along a line of these that this deer was working on. Now I know this is not a huge trophy buck, but I in general am not a trophy hunter. I'm a meat guy, uh, but this is a decent deer. This is definitely a Michigan deer, an eight pointer, uh, and it's kind of the standard on this property where we hunt. Eight points or larger, so he's a good body deer and he's gonna fill the freezer up nice. All right guys, well, there it is. Using the Therm Knight by DNT as a handheld unit helped me out with this deer hunt. I really can say I probably wouldn't have seen that buck coming on in behind that doe had I not been playing around and you know scanning the woods with this thing. So day or night, these things will help you out in dense cover fields and everything like that. And as well as tracking now, you can tell that deer that I shot, it only went about 40 yards. And to be honest, I watched the thing pile up, but had it ran off into the swamp somewhere, uh, dense cover, you know, where I couldn't see it, this thing really would have helped out. You can see in that video that white just Boom, this thing was just glowing on the thermal mode. So, hey, with that said, check these things out. DNT Therm Night, it's also got infrared and the daytime use sends all this stuff right to your phone. Price really, really good, and uh, I'm excited to get this thing mounted up on some more platforms. So, hey, thanks for checking on in. Get on out there and keep on hunting.